In this video, I'm gonna cover the quest lore in Tears Fall Glades. Now, this is the last episode in this zone, so if you wanna catch up, click the first video in the link above. So let's get in there and find out what's going on in World of Warcraft. Once you return to Brill, you speak to Magistrate Severin. He asks you about the remains that you're carrying, and you mention that they're the remains of Devlin Agamand, and you tell him that Coleman Farthing wanted you to check it out. Now, Magistrate Severin knows what Coleman wants to try, and Severin, he's he's completely on board with this experiment. He wants to try something like an exorcism. The grasp that the Lich King once held over the Scourge grows ever weaker, so his grasp on Devlin Agamand should be weak enough that we can essentially free his soul. So Magistrate Severn wants you to speak to Shadow Priest Malia located in Brill, so she can help you with the extraction of Devlin Agamand. From here, you head to the building where Shadow Priest Malia is at. And after meeting her, she tells you that the extraction will take place upstairs. After you follow her, she summons the spirit of Devlin Agamand, who appears in a very confused state, and claims that his soul belongs to the Scourge. So you end up fighting him off, and then report back to Magistrate Severn. Yes, that didn't go as planned. Magistrate Magistrate Severin says that perhaps the Scourge's dominion over Devlin's mind was maybe too strong. Or that our methods of extraction just aren't strong enough. Severin then says that you've done a lot for the people of Brill, but that a person of your caliber is needed elsewhere. He wants you to report to High Executor Darrington at the Bulwark to the east, in order to help the incoming Scourge invasion. From here, you head out to the Bulwark and meet up with High Executor Darrington. He says that the report from Executor Arryn, the guy in Death Knell from the first episode, indicates that the Scarlet Crusaders have been raiding certain areas. They're located in a ruined tower in the south eastern section in Tirasfall, near Balnir Farmstead, under command of Captain Vashon. Darrington wants you to kill three of the Scarlet Zealots and four of the Friars, and says that this should be a devastating blow to the Crusaders. You also speak to Apothecary Dithers who's standing nearby. He asks you if you've seen the plagued Bruins that are wandering around to the west of here, and mentions that their diseased hide is perfect for an anti-scourge poison that he wants to make. So he wants you to obtain five of the hides when you're out there. Now you head out and kill the Bruins until you've obtained five of their hides. Then you head to the Ruined Tower and kill the three Zealots as well as the four Friars. After that's done, you head back to the Bulwark to report. High Executor Darrington says that your actions will slow down the Scarlet Crusade's advancements, but that other threats are upon us. Shortly before you arrived at the Bulwark, Darrington was approached by a young undead woman who swore enmity against the Scarlet Crusade. So Darrington sent her up north to work on the enemy. He wants you to head up there and see if you can assist her in any way possible, but says to not be surprised if she's already killed everyone by the time you get up there. I can only guess who this person might be. Hmm. You then speak to Apothecary Dithers, who's really excited that you brought him back the hides. So he makes the poison and after sampling it, he says that it's not quite there yet, and mentions that the spiders to the north have a very potent venom that might give this a little kick. He wants you to extract four samples of vicious nightweb spider venom and bring them back so he can add them to the poison. So now you head north and kill the spiders until you've obtained four of the samples of venom. Then you come across an encampment littered with dead bodies and find the body of a Lieutenant Sanders hanging from a chain. While examining the body, you hear a voice saying that they could kill you right now if they really wanted to and that you'd better watch your step. The voice is from none other than, yeah, you guessed it, Lillian Voss. She says that before she died, she was a member of the Scarlet Crusade, and that her father, High Priest Voss, raised her to be a weapon against the plagued. She studied sorcery, martial arts, stealth, anything to make herself stronger. Then, when she died and returned as a Forsaken, her father forgot about her and ordered her execution. She now beckons you to follow her and speak with her father located in the tower to the northwest. So you head out with Lillian and watch her kill a bunch of people on your way to the tower like the boss she is. Once you get to the tower, Lillian confronts her father. She asks him how she's doing as a killer and begins snapping necks. High Priest Voss doesn't know what to say. And so Lillian says, you taught me to kill the undead, so do you want me to kill myself? But then says, why kill myself when I can kill you instead? Then she snaps his neck just like all the others. Lillian Voss, 
MVP award. Now you head away from the tower and back to the bulwark to report. Darrington comments that Lillian has had it pretty rough, but hopefully she'll choose to follow the Dark Lady, and that with powers like hers, we could do incredible things. He then rewards you with the Darrington's Dirk and the Headman's Bag for all of your work out there, and says he may have some more work for you later on in the Plaguelands. Darrington says that there's not much more for you to do here at the bulwark, but there may be further adventures waiting for you in Silver Pine Forest. He tells you to speak to his Batman, Timothy Cunningham, for a free ride back to Brill. Before you head out, you give Apothecary Dithers the venom to finish off his poison, which he's very grateful for. Now, you visit Timothy Cunningham for a free ride back to Brill, and he tells you to speak to Executor Zygon when you get back there. Says that there's some excitement going on in Silver Pine Forest. So you take the bat all the way back to Brill, and upon landing, you speak to Executor Zygand once again. Now he's heard stories from the East, and commends you for being the one who wiped out the last remnants of the Scarlet Crusade. He then says that all able-bodied members of the Horde are ordered to report to Grand Executor Mortis at the Forsaken High Command in Silver Pine Forest. Zygand says that your help is needed more than ever in routing the enemy infestation in the region and conquering the port of Gilneas. So now you head out and say goodbye to Tearsfall Glades and enter the Silver Pine Forest to speak to Grand Executor Mortis and find out what more you can do in serving the Dark Lady. And with that, Tears Fall Glades is done. Lillian Voss's story is something else. I'm hoping she shows up a lot more as we continue the Forsaken lore, but that's a story for another time. If you enjoyed watching this, then go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you again to the Patreon subscribers. I really do appreciate your contribution in supporting this channel. If you'd like to help out through Patreon, then go ahead and hit the link down below. And with that, we'll see you next time when we find out what happens next in the Tales of Azeroth.